Hi, I'm actor Stuart Pankin, <laughs> and I'm a funny guy. But I also know that wounds are no laughing matter. In the following video, I'm going to help you learn how to change your wound dressings at home so you can heal faster and get back to the lifestyle you deserve. I'm Dr. Lee Rogers. In a moment, this patient and caregiver are going to show you how to apply the dressing to your wound. If you follow these instructions, you'll give your wound the best chance of healing. In this video, we are going to explain the process of applying a non-bordered foam, a gauze pad, and rolled gauze bandage to your wound. Your package contains the dressing your physician ordered for you. Always wash your hands before applying your dressing. Lay out the supplies from your smart pack on a clean towel and put on the gloves provided. Well, they gave us everything we need. The gauze dressing will be applied directly to your wound bed. Moisten the gauze with saline before applying. Okay. You trust me? Yeah, just cut it to size. When trimming your dressing, you should only use clean scissors that are designated for wound care purposes. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now apply the foam dressing. Some patients find it hard to identify which side of the foam sheet should be placed toward the skin. Generally, the dull side goes toward the wound. However, there are some brands where the shiny side is tacky. In that case, the tacky side goes toward the wound. The foam should extend one to two inches from the edge of the wound. This dressing requires that the borders be taped to hold it in place. Only use tape safe to apply to the skin and secure it well on all sides. Next, apply the rolled gauze to secure it. Let me know this is too tight. The rolled gauze comes off most easily when you unroll the bandage around the extremity and keep a little tension on it as shown. Okay, too tight or good? Oh, that's good. Anchor the bandage to the foot or ankle to keep it from coming unraveled. Continue wrapping the gauze in a circular fashion, overlapping half of the previous layer and smoothing out any wrinkles as you continue wrapping. If the gauze roll is too long, you can cut it. Secure the loose end with tape, but don't put tape directly on the skin unless instructed to by your doctor or nurse. Okay, and one more. There we go. Simple as that, right? Thank you. When you're finished changing your dressing, discard all materials, including your gloves. First, remove one glove by only touching it with the other gloved hand. Then remove the second glove with your bare hand by sliding a finger under the wrist cuff and pulling it off. This will prevent contamination of your hands with wound drainage. But it's also a good idea to wash your hands again after the dressing change. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have questions concerning your wound, please call your physician. To reach a SmartPak representative, call the number on your screen. And thank you for using SmartPak, where we believe good things come in smart packages. This video contains information for general, educational, and informational purposes and is not medical advice. Each patient's care is unique. Please contact a healthcare professional if you have any questions regarding this information or any aspect of your care.